Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a new what if, and that is, what if Shisui succeeded, part 1. Now as usual guys, if you guys can, please like and subscribe, leave your comments down below, leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content, and follow me on Instagram, to which I'll leave the link in the description below. Now I'm just going to quickly state to you guys, apologise that I haven't been on, on YouTube for a bit, yeah, I've been just um, catching up, uh, been sick for a bit, and then, no, it wasn't COVID-19, just my own the cold you know and catching up with my family stuff you know my newborn ch child she's yeah getting old Everything, everything's doing well so yeah i just hope you all know yeah everything's okay but not only that i hope everyone around the world's doing good as well it's been a long time since i've actually been on youtube you know so yeah let's get back into it hopefully anyway but yeah without further ado guys let's get into this new what off that i've been thinking about for ages i've been meaning to get this out for a long time but i've been putting things in front of me for ages but yeah let's get started into this new type of what if anyway and that is what if shisui succeeded part one now let's begin Now where the story is going to take place is right after the time where Itachi spoke with the Kage and the village elders upon what um, the Uchiha planning and the fact that they are going to present a coup d'etat the next day or the day very soon anyway. And so like in canon, Shisui approaches the Theodore Kage and what ends up happening, the same thing goes, the Theodore Kage approaches of Shisui's of the Koto Matsukabe. Now the thing about in canon, Danzo prevents Shisui from doing so because Shisui was unprepared. Now. That's in canon. Now I'm gonna for this narrative to work, the Theodore Kage is gonna give Shisui a warning upon be ready for anything, no matter who it is. And so what happens is when Shisui is approached by Danzo, they have this their brief talk before Danzo tries to attack Shisui, but Shisui places him under a powerful Genjutsu, he uses a smoke bomb, and what he does is all the root ninja that go to attack and protect Danzo, Shisui jumps out of the smoke bomb and, and uses his teleportation jutsu and goes between every single root ninja that's around and places them all under a powerful genjutsu. And the moment that happens, Danzo comes out and he readies he readies uh, wind style multiple vacuum bullet jutsu and shoots hundreds of vacuum bullets jutsu at Shisui. Now Shisui is smart and he knew for a fact that if he killed the root ninja, this would this would um in essence justify Danzo's move. So Shisui does the smart thing. And he jumps around every single root ninja that's around him and he makes Danzo pretty much kill his own team. To which Danzo gets really angry. Now before Shisui leaves um, the battlefield anyway, well leaves the area from him and Danzo, he goes, how did you get out of my Genjutsu? The Genjutsu sort of held you there the whole time. Danzo, uh, Danzo doesn't care, he instantly gra grabs a um, shuriken. Uh, demon shuriken, he grabs a kunai, powers a wind, a wind chakra into it and rushes at Shisui and before he gets to Shisui, Shisui places him under a, a real powerful genjutsu this time and Shisui disappears immediately, locking Danzo in place to look at what he did, look at the fact that he killed all his root ninja Danzo didn't realise that after he, he, um, Shisui left, Danzo came out, Shisui placed him under a powerful genjutsu again the moment they made eye contact and Danzo killed his whole, whole team not realising that so Danzo is, is absolutely pissed. Now Shisui from here goes to see it Itachi and explains the whole de ordeal from what Danzo did. And before Itachi knew it, Shisui used his abilities as well to force a reaction in Itachi to make him awaken his Mongekyo because Shisui will need Itachi's help for his plan to succeed. And so what happens is Shisui forces a traumatic event to happen within Itachi's mind and by way of making Itachi believe that his family are all killed, killed by the notion of the Uchiha um, coup d'etat and Itachi sees this, he sees his little brother, his parents all gone, the Uchiha compound burning and the hidden leaf burnt up in fire as well with the nine tails blown at the, um, everything and when Itachi sees this in the real world his eyes begin to tear up and his, his three Tomo Sharingan instantly evolve into Mangekyo and from there Itachi has unlocked it now bear in mind Shisui hasn't lost his other eye, so he still has both his eyes, so he's still quite strong. He didn't go through the strenuous task of fighting Danzo and the Red Ninja as long as before, because he was he was warned. So what happens is Shisui and Itachi realize they don't have much time, so they rush to um, Fugaku's house 
towards Fugaku is, ha- is about to have a meeting. But what ends up happening is Shisu and Itachi are uh, rushing there. And this is when Shisu explains that he needs Itachi to go against Fugaku's word. And Itachi's like, what do you mean? And he goes, if I know, if I am right, the Uchiha, there's already a Uchiha faction that don't want to follow your father anyway. So even if your father was to say no, no to the coup d'etat, these guys would still, still go, I agree with it. And Itachi understands Shisu's plan. So even though the Uchiha will become divided, through Itachi, it will be, in a sense, united. And Shisui goes, pretty pretty much. So Itachi agrees. And when they get to the Uchiha compound, what happens is they are confronted by Danzo and the, some more Root Ninja. Now Danzo is standing there, he's really fuming, really angry looking at Itachi. Oh, it was Itachi, Shisui. And he, he demands that Shisui surrender immediately. And face a uh, face judgment for the deaths of all the root, all Danzo's personal guard, and Shisui explains, "I didn't kill your guard; you killed them yourself." Shisui, uh, and then Danzo goes, "You placed me under again, Jutsu, and you used me to kill them, no matter what." And Shisui, Shisui just explains that you prevented me from doing the mission that I already explained to Third Okage that I was going to do. And what happens is Danzo's had heard enough of it, and he instantly um, greets his root ninja to attack. But because they're standing right in front of the Uchiha compound, some of the Uchiha guards would have seen that what was happening and told Fugaku. Fugaku instantly appeared by the front gates. And before Danze knew it, he felt the piercing eyes of the red demon. The red eyed demon of the Uchiha. And as Fugaku looked around the looked around the entire area, he took out every single root ninja but Danze with one glance at all of them. Danze understands Fugaku's power. And, F- and by what happens is Danzo has fortified himself to p- make sure that uh, Fugaku don't enter his mind. And as Fugaku pretty much shows his worth to Danzo, Danzo the states, states to him that your actions are not being unnoticed, Fugaku Uchiha. Danzo instantly disappears. And what happens is Itachi and Shisui come in and they meet up with the third Okage before, um, what's it called, the Uchiha meeting. So when Fugaku's in, in his in his um his study, Itachi's explaining everything, and Itachi's just booming Fugaku into a position where Shisui can can at least work the Koto Matsukabe. Now what happens is when Itachi gets him there, Shisui builds up enough chakra to activate both Mongekyo's and use both the Mongekyo eyes to do the Koto Matsukabe to add to the effect. And Lo and behold, Fugaku is placed under the Koto Matsukabe to protect the Hidden Leaf, to make the Uchiha protect the Hidden Leaf. Pretty much the same order as he placed, Itachi placed in the same eye in canon when he gave it to Naruto and the bird came out to Genjutsu reanimation version, if you get what I mean. So that's pretty much what happened. So what, what else go down is, as that happens, the Uchiha meeting is pretty much recorded if Fugaku understands the plan. And he goes in with the plan, understanding that Itachi is going against him for a reason, okay? And so Fugaku understands the plan. So right away, as as the Uchiha meeting goes, there's instantly uproar with the fact that Root tried to attack two more Uchiha, two more people. And this, this doesn't bode well for the faction of Uchiha that are already against Fugaku. And so what happens is right away, when Fugaku explains that the Uchiha are not going to go through coup d'etat, they're going to work themselves properly, so they're going to talk to the third Okage itself. A lot of the Uchiha instantly, the, the Uchiha that are against them, and I'm going to say at least 40% of the Uchiha are against them. They they instantly rave, yell, in absolute uproar, hating the Hokage, hating the system. And what happens is, right, at, right on cue, Itachi instantly voices the same exact opinion. Stating that, that the Uchiha need more than just bowing down to the Hokage. And to all the other Uchiha surprised that Itachi did that, that shocks them all, you know. And the faction that instantly hear that, they get up and they renounce the coup d'etat, they, they, they don't do the coup d'etat, but they renounce Fugaku as their leader. And so what happens is, um, Shisui and Fugaku pretty much convince the other 60% of the Uchiha, they stay with Fugaku, and they're meeting to stop the coup d'etat, and they agree. So it becomes a majority of rules. 60% say no, 40% will brood and be angry. And what happens is Fugaku leads the 60% and Itachi leads the other 40. So there's a big division in the Uchiha clan, but there's no coup d'etat. And so what happens is the next day, the third, um, 
the Hidden Leaf Ombu members hear about what happened with the Root Ninja, and not only that, they hear about the possible coup d'etat, but what ends up happening is when the Black Ops Ombu notice two Uchiha walking to the Hokage's office, they realise this is not an invasion, a civil war, an attack. And who's walking is Fugaku and Inutachi, uh, Fugaku and Shisui. Now, as they're walking to the third Okage's office, Danzo is there again, ever so pestering. Shisui looks at Danzo, and Danzo goes, No matter what you're gonna do now, I am protected from your genjutsu. And Shisui goes, Are you sure? And Danzo looks at Shisui and realizes they weren't even standing there in the first place. Shisui and Fugaku already entered the building, and they shocked Danzo. He, he was like, how, how long am I standing still for? <clears throat> so what ended up happening is um, Shisui and Fugaku enter the Hokage's office and Fugaku talks to the Hokage. He explains that the Uchiha have a set of demands for, and he explains that there was a coup d'etat to which he apologizes that there was going to be. The third Hokage agrees and understands that Shisui's plan worked and that the Uchiha, this can all be resolved peacefully. So right away, Fugaku explains if the Uchiha can have their old positions back as the Uchiha police force within the Hidden Leaf itself. And the third Okage goes, what do you mean? He goes, well, there's been a faction of Uchiha that goes against everything we are. They split off and they have gone with Itachi. They are still in the Uchiha compound, but I fear that if we, the ones that want to have peace with the Hidden Leaf, um, let's just state that it's going to be like old inter-clan wars. If we stay where we are within the Uchiha compound. And so the Fugaku demands that the Uchiha that were with him instantly leave the compound and reintegrate within the Hidden Leaf Village. And as such also have a new Uchiha police force stationed within the Hidden Leaf. And so the third Okage agrees to these plans because the coup d'etat has ended. And to ease tension for the Uchiha, he instantly agrees to have the Uchiha that follow Fugaku to move near the Uchiha police force compound that's going to be not far from the Hokage's office. So what happens is 60% of the Uchiha leave the compound and integrate with the entire Hidden Leaf village. But what ends up happening is that Uchiha and the Uchiha compound, they stay, they brood and gain hatred and anger, evil, festers within them. But that's not a good thing, it bodes bad for them, and which we'll see in the future. Now right away, Shisui's uh, meddling has changed a lot, absolutely changed a lot. Shisui and Itachi, naturally, they will always be best friends and they'll always stick with each other, but just for argument's sake, they don't see eye to eye, just for convincing eyes anyway. So what ends up happening is, right away, um, when it comes time for the day of the real Kudeta, because understand, the ones that stayed in Uchiha compound, they agreed to still have the coup d'etat, they hate the Hoka, they hate the, the notion of the Hokage, they hate the notion of everything being pulled down, being made so little. Even if they have to go against their own clan that lives within the village, they feel betrayed anyway, just like Madara does. And so, before they treat those Uchiha that live within the compound, do the coup d'etat, the Itachi, Itachi within them explains again that this is going to happen. But he explains it to only the third Hokage. And so what happens is, Itachi sees ma the Masked Man, just like in canon, the same Masked Man. And before he does the kills the clan within the Uchiha compound, he he sends a crow to Shisui, thanking Shisui for everything he has done for him. Thank you, Shisui, for giving him the power to make right a good destiny. And he also asks Shisui if he can protect his little brother. And so right away. As he does that, Itachi and the masked man murder the entire Uchiha in the compound. And what happened is, unusually, Sasuke went to go visit Itachi. And when he, when, he, when Sasuke enters the Uchiha compound, he sees all the dead bodies, all the Uchiha that were, were there, dead. And what happens is, he, he instantly spots a guy with the mask, but disappears instantly. And he sees Itachi standing there. When, he, when Sasuke sees Itachi, Itachi places Sasuke under a real, real powerful Genjutsu. Pretty similar to the canon one, but this Itachi already has the Mongekyo activated. So he instantly places Sasuke under a real powerful Genjutsu. Now what happens is, just to keep appearances, um, what's it called? 
Itachi left immediately, leaving Sasuke there. Now what ends up happening is the the next day, the hidden leaf finds out um, that the Uchiha that lived in the compound are all dead. Itachi Uchiha did it. He has become a rogue ninja. Sasuke Uchiha witnessed two people, Itachi Uchiha and a masked man that disappeared in, in a blink of an eye. And so what happens is this is presence for new changes. And when what happens is when Shisui probes Sasuke's mind, he sees it. He sees it immediately the same masked man. And Fugaku does the same. He sees the masked man. They want to know exactly who he is. Fugaku gets eerie feelings. Thinking it's someone from old, someone very bad, someone evil that he's hoping that hasn't come back to haunt them. He ruined their clan the first time. So what happens is, um, after Sasuke works out of hospital, he has this burning hate for Itachi. But what ends up happening is thanks to uh, Itachi's note to Shisui. Shisui has been waiting for this moment and he places a powerful Genjutsu onto Sasuke to see the opposite of what Itachi showed him. Instead of hatred, anger and rage that fills Sasuke, even though it did in the beginning. This time however, it's completely different. Sasuke is angry. Is feeling hate, you know? Absolute. But thanks to Shisui's interference, Sasuke is turning the hatred into a positive. Instead of wanting to go and kill Itachi, he wants to save Itachi. Bring her back him and save him, at least. Answers. Help his dad. Everything. So Sasuke has a new goal instead of hatred, anger. And this week they care. His parents, Mikoto, Fugaku, and is still alive. And Shisui is always going to be like a big brother to Sasuke. In a sense, just like Itachi. So that's going to go down. So Sasuke is not going to be um, as emo as he was. In fact, he's going to be just as driven as Naruto. Okay, so from there, Sasuke goes back to school, and then Naruto and Sasuke are in the academy together. Now, what ends up happening though is over a period of time after Sasuke graduates the academy and been been graduated to becoming a Genin anyway, Naruto also becomes a Genin. And when it comes to the fabled day of Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura being placed on Team Seven, something different happens. Something super unexpected. Now, Fugaku's I uh, had one other demand. He demanded that Sasuke always have at least, or have Shisui to help, like help him get him, help him with his sharing, help him get better, you know. Because Fugaku's main concern is protecting the hidden leaf. Unfortunately for his Mangekyo curse, thanks to Shisui. So what happens is the third Kage was considering Kakashi, but because Shisui has Sharingan and and is and Uchiha, he tells he tells Shisui, well he asks Shisui if he wants to be the leader of Team Seven, and Shisui, Shisui explains who's that, who's gonna who are in the team, and he goes your team is gonna consist of Naruto Uzumaki, Sakura Haruno, and Sasuke Uchiha, and Shisui smiles and goes all right then, and he goes hm, the little brother Itachi and the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, how interesting, and if it opens the third Kage smiles. And he goes, thank you, Lord Third. Now, what ends up happening is, just when it comes to the fable day of being picked into their teams, Shishu walks in, and Naruto still pulls the same prank. But what happens is, when the um, when the prank almost hits Shisui, Shisui disappeared in the blink of an eye and appeared somewhere else. Now, Naruto is like, can't believe what had just happened. He just said, what? What the hell? My, like Naruto was proud of himself that his thing worked. Scared um, whoever was there. Sasuke realized that um, Shisui is someone special, one of the fastest people on the hidden leaf. So he knew that Shisui wasn't out or down or any stupid thing around. And when Sasuke looked over, he sees Shisui sitting right in front of him on the desk. And when Naruto sees him, he's like, Amazing! I didn't even see you move! And Shisui smiled and goes, hmm. So you're the Joker of the group, huh? And Sasuke goes, Hey, Shisui, big bro. And Naruto goes, you know him? He goes, yeah, he's an Uchiha. Oh, he's a Uchiha after all, Naruto. Naruto goes, awesome. I just want to, I want to be as fast as you, if not faster, stronger. Shisui smiles and Sasuke goes, Psh, you have to be Uchiha first. And Naruto goes, uh-uh, you just got to work hard and make sure you push yourself even further than you need to be. And Shisui explains again, hmm, you both have the right idea. 
I like your idea, Naruto. Naruto, Naruto smiles and goes, um, who are you anyway? And he goes, my name is Shisui Uchiha. I'm going to be the hit leader of Team 7. Now, you are going to be leaded by, or taught by someone else, but on request of the third Okage, I become your leader. You may know me as Sensei, Uch um, Sensei Shisui. So, yeah. Now, I heard it's customary for us to get to know one another. So, while we're here in this class, I'd like to exp I'd like to hear your guys' notions upon why you want to become a shinobi. How about you, Sakura? Sakura blushes and looks down and goes, um, well, you see, uh, I want to be close to Sasuke. And what happened is she sweet instantly, like, kind of gets shocked and he goes, ah, uh, every bit like Itachi. Makes he kind of giggles on his mind and goes, okay then. Well, I understand, there's many strong Konowichi that don't just follow normal, like, Sasuke or anyone else, for that matter. Maybe you can become like that, eh? Hmm, let's see about you. Okay, Sasuke, what about you? What do you plan on doing? What is your main goal to become a shinobi? And Sasuke instantly punches, stamps his hand on the desk and goes, I'm gonna bring my brother Itachi back. I don't care if I have to break him to bring him back. And uh, Shisui goes, Then how is that any different than killing him? And, she, and Sasuke goes, I'm not gonna kill my brother. No, I wanna become strong with him and make sure that he wants to come back to the home leaf. But if I have to, I'll force him to come back. And Shisui goes, They won't make you better. And then Sasuke goes, I didn't kill my clan. Then Shisui goes, Well, we're all still alive. Did he really kill the, did he really kill the clan? Or did he kill the clan that was against your father? And Sasuke goes, No matter what. He did what he did. And he goes, I, I understand, Sasuke. I really do. And he walks over and goes, Just like how your father would understand, I understand because your brother was like a brother to me, too. And Sasuke looks right at Shisui and Shisui smiles again. <laughs> But I respect your decision, and if need be, I'll help you get stronger. And Sasuke smiles and goes, alright. And he goes, now to you, Naruto Uzumaki, what do you plan on becoming? And Naruto instantly thumbs his nose immediately and goes, to become the next Hokage! That is my dream! Shisui smiles and goes, Hokage? Alright, and why do you want to become Hokage? And Naruto goes, I want people to stop looking down at me, you know? I want people to respect me. I want to be looked at at least. Sasuke looks at Naruto. And so Sakura goes, Naruto explains, I am sick of everyone looking down at me. Now that I know I'm the nine tailed fox vessel, and Sasuke and Sakura's eyes widen, it's really sad. And Shisui goes, <laughs> It must be really sad to be a Jinchuriki. Sasuke's like, Jinchuriki? And so now right, he says, Jin. What was that aspect again? Sakura was like, Duh! And Sasuke was like, Jin Cherokee, idiot. And now says, Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and goes, What is that? And he goes, Well, you hold one of nine tailed beasts, Naruto. Within you is the most powerful of the nine. Now, I am not the, I'm not any other the journeys. No, I'm not gonna hide information. You guys are a team. This is vital information. You guys are on team with the nine tails Jin Shuriki. One of the most dangerous beings in the planet. And the shock Sasuke and Sakura. Naruto gets even more scared fearful. But then Sasuke so she's reappeared right by Naruto, placed his hand on the shoulders, and covering the um the distance between each other and he places his hand on Naruto and calms him and goes, But don't you worry, Naruto. I, I will help you achieve your goals, and I'll make sure that you become strong and protect the village. Naruto smiles and looks at me and says, Thank you, Shisui, Sensei. Sasuke smiles and goes, hmm. And he goes, So how dangerous is Naruto anyway? And Naruto goes, Really? You want to know that? And Shisui goes, well, what I, I believe the most powerful nine-tailed beast is the one in Naruto, so I, I believe absolutely dangerous, Sasuke. And Sasuke goes, huh, so, if Naruto was to gain control, and then Shisui goes, then Naruto would be the most powerful being on the, be the most powerful person on the planet. And this shocked Naruto massively, and Sasuke looks at her, what? And Shisui goes, yeah, if Naruto was the master, the Nine Tails power, he'll be the most powerful person on this planet. And this shocks Naruto, and Naruto goes, 
Then I'm going to do my best to master this power then. And I now know he exists. And she sweet smiles. And he goes, oh, I heard you're going to make multi-shadow clones, Naruto. And Naruto goes, well, yeah. You see, the last three times I tried to make shadow clones, I failed. And she sweet laughed at that. Naruto goes, yeah, but Iruki Sensei saved me, you know. He brought me out of a darkness that I can't explain. Everyone looked down upon me, but what Iruki Sensei say, said really wrong true and for some reason I was able to make all the shadow clones I could and from there well the rest is history she speaks, smiles at Naruto and goes <laughs> you're a very fascinating kid well since we're all together team 7 um, how about we get a, how about we get a, um, something to eat and get to know each other more hmm? and Naruto's like oh I know the perfect spot Ichiraku ramen and they're like okay then and Naruto goes, but are you paying Shisui Sensei? And Shisui was like, ah, yes, I'll pay. So what ends up happening, instead of how Kakashi does the bell test, what happens is Shisui takes Naruto, Sakura and, and Sasuke and takes them to, for a feed or, or, or some food. What ends up happening is Shisui gets to know them more and he gets to break down barriers between them, you know? It gets to the point where Sasuke and Naruto begin to not argue with each other, but break each other to the point where Sasuke and Naruto both demand each other to become rivals. And Sasuke is so fuming at Naruto, definitely, you are my rival then. And Naruto goes, okay then. And she sweet smiles, seeing that Naruto and Sasuke have cemented their rivalry properly, in a neutral, positive manner, for both personal gains. And Sakura has agreed to tra at least train some more. So what happens is, after Shisui has their feed, he sends them back and tells them tomorrow we'll begin our, tr our training immediately. On um, tracker training and tree uh, like tree walking, all that stuff. And this shocks them. So what happens is, from there, they begin their training. Now, with Shisui being their sensei, he pushes them to different heights. You know, he's not rough or hard, he's actually quite patient, calm collective you know and Naruto and Sakura pick up on this and because Sasuke's grown up with it and understand how Shisui is he begins to mimic Shisui even easier than Naruto and Sasuke and uh, Sakura but Naruto and Sakura get it you know they 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 get the best of Shisui and they become a really well-rounded team Shisui pushes them way further than what Kakashi did in canon way further and because Sasuke is not driven by bloodlust or hatred but the need to bring his brother back, pretty similar to how Naruto wanted to bring Sasuke back, actually, in canon. The Sasuke is driven like that and he now has a has a buddy buddy pair or a buddy to make him get stronger, you know, and that's Naruto. And because Shisui does have Sharingan, it makes it easy for Sasuke to begin training more. And so what happens is right off the back, Shisui trains Naruto, Sakura and Sasuke through tree um, climbing tree walking and water walking within the first month of their D-rank missions. Now as that all goes past us like in canon, Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura, um, they have been training every day with Shisui, you know. Sakura has even surpassed her canon self, even in Taijutsu alone. Shisui finds out right, right away that, uh, that Sakura has an affinity for Genjutsu, so he begins to teach her Genjutsu right off the bat. And Shisui realizes with Sasuke, lightning style as the Genjutsu that he it was is a um uh due to that he is actually well versed in. So she sweet points Sasuke to the right person to teach him this fighting style, and that is um Kakashi. But not right away, but he lets Sasuke know that he is someone to help him with the infinity of lightning. Now when it comes to Naruto, she sweet instantly realizes that Naruto is quite fond of using shadow clones. So right away she sweet explains to Naruto the purpose of the multi shadow clones. And this is through their one or well, their one and a half month of D rank missions. And Naruto's like, really? And he goes, yeah. Why don't you make five shadow clones, leave two with here with me, and you three go in different areas in the forest, and then release the two shadow clones, and then release the last, and then release the last two, and then release yourself, and then release the um the whole jutsu entirely, and you'll be able to gain all the knowledge. And so what happens is Naruto, throughout that whole month and a half, begins to train to that point, so he realizes, oh, that is actually the case. But it takes him a whole month to perfect making multi shadow clones. He hasn't learnt anything else yet but just making multi shadow clones and um, the rudimentary version of walking on trees and walking on water. So, what happens is right away, 
Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura are way better than canon. Way more positive. Way more powerful. Even Sasuke and Naruto's Taijutsu are on another level. And so when they get to, when they get to the part where they get the Taz in the bridge arc, Naruto is not so outspoken or stupid, you know? Yes, he is Naruto, but thanks to having a really peaceful, calm sensei like Shusui, someone that's serious but is well composed and very nice, Naruto takes on that, no that notion a lot. And this this remarks against Sakura and Sasuke hardcore. And that also makes them laugh as well, seeing the change in Naruto. And when Naruto asks the third Okage for a new mission, the third Okage brings in Tazuna, but what happens is instead of Tazuna berating Naruto, Sasuke or Sakura, he's actually heard of Shisui of the teleporting or Shisui with the Sharon gun and understands that he feels absolutely safe under the care of Shisui. He drinks his beer and he, he, he instantly um, salutes the third Okage and goes, thank you for my protection. And from there, he leaves with Shisui, Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. And as they begin, they land the Wave Arc mission. And that's why I want to leave this one off, guys. I hope you liked this. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content. And follow me on Instagram, to which I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to let you know. Um, I'm just slow and surely easing my way back into it. Yeah, I would make an hour one. But right now, I'm just way too tired. Still recovering from my sickness. And yeah. Okay, guys. So... I apologize soon I'll come up with an hour video but yeah I hope you like this one please leave your comments down below and let me know your honest truth about this and yeah I want to be making out there different what ifs not just the same narrative what if Goku what if Naruto all that jazz that's boring okay I think of I got other what ifs that I have that I'm, not, that I'm gonna bring some one one hit of quitters okay but yeah you'll see soon okay guys but yeah, thank you guys so much for your patience, and I hope you guys all be safe in this turmoil that's happening in this world, okay guys? But as usual guys, this is Dr. Kahu saying peace.